Hey guys, welcome back to Fun World and Art. My name is Anisha, and today we're going to be creating a happy birthday cake painting. This is a good painting to give if your friend is having a birthday. And I'm doing this painting in honor of mine, which is coming pretty soon. So, let's get started. For this painting, you will need, of course, we're going to paint a background, so you're going to need paints. That's the number one thing. You can use oil, but I'm using acrylics. I'm using the Monte Marte acrylic paint set. All of these. These were, I have a 25 pack, which is 24 pack, which is $25. If you if these are too expensive, you can use the apple barrel paint. I use I've been using the apple barrel paint for all of my paintings, but this is the first time I'm going to be testing out these because these are really good paints. And of course, you will be needing brushes. For brushes, you will be needing a bunch of flat brushes for the background blending. I have a one inch, two inch, three inch. You will also be needing a couple of other different types of brushes, like fine tips and filberts, and just really like these types of brushes and these to paint the cake and to make the letter. So now, let's get started. So for the blending, we're gonna start off with the background, the blending, which is always what you do. So there's going to be a background, a cake, and maybe some balloons, and happy birthday. I like to make it up as I go. So it'll go pink, blue, purple, and I might add some white somewhere in between that, maybe at the bottom. But the bottom is going to be the table, so I will need one solid color. So I might do maybe a blue for the table, or maybe an orange or a yellow. I'll have to see. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with the top, which is just pink. I'm not going to start off with that much right now because I've never used these before but I want to see how they are. Whoa, these are super opaque and so nice. These are the nicest paints I've ever used, honestly. The color is very vibrant and it's very smooth. Very opaque compared to the apple barrel paints which are very uh, not opaque so you have to add a couple of layers. But Honestly, I think that this will do fine with just one layer. I'll just add a little bit of blue. I want this to be very light. This, will, this is actually like very vibrant paint. The apple barrel paint, you really need a lot of paint to cover uh, some surface. But this, I honestly you just need a bit. Something I'm very surprised with. Now, when I get close to these, I'm going to start blending. If you don't know how to blend and you're a bit confused about it, my last video that I posted was the fundamentals of blending. So if you haven't checked out, check that out. Make sure you go through that. Now, I'm One thing I've observed with these paints is that they are very um, different to blend compared to what I'm used to, which is the apple barrel paints. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just not used to it yet. Now this, I feel like it's a bit dark, so I'm just going to add a little white to that as well, to just lighten it up. It makes everything a whole lot easier to blend because it like lightens up the colors and makes them a less tougher to blend. And after the blue, I'm gonna add my purple. Now this purple is fairly dark, so I'm gonna mix in white with it. Now 
So now you just want to blend these in a very light manner. And if I'm being honest, I didn't think this through and the pink was really hard to blend in with the blue. So I really lightened up the purple, which really helped to blend it. And now I'm just going to fill the rest of this bottom area with the purple that I have remaining. I don't have a lot of purple left, so I'm just going to squeeze out some more purple. This is really dark again, so I'm going to be careful of that. And I'm just going to blend this dark purple in with the light. Oh my gosh, this paint is so opaque. I feel like if you make a mistake with Apple Girl, you can really just go back and paint over it. But you can't really do that with this paint because it's so opaque. So I feel like this video is not only a happy birthday painting tutorial, but also a kind of Monte Monte acrylic paint set review. And honestly, for $1 per tube, I feel like this is very good. And another thing with the apple barrels is a lot of the times when they dry, sometimes they'll dry dark and light, which is really weird. And I don't like that at all. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna so now I'm done with the blending, so I'm just gonna let this sit. Maybe I'll add like streaks of white and blue here and there. Just to soften, soften up the color a bit. Because the blue is very obnoxiously bright for me. So I am done blending. I added a little touch-ups here and there because I felt like the blue and the pinks blending is really messy. It still is a little, but that's okay. So all in all, while this paint is drying, I want to talk about these Monte Marte paints a bit. Compared to the Apple Girl paints, these paints are a bajillion times better. They're more opaque and they spread out way easier. Considering with Apple Barrel paints, it's weird because you have to have like 10 squirts to stretch all the way across the whole canvas. And for this, you only need like half a squirt, which is really cool. I feel like the quantity is also really good because at first when I got this, I thought that 36 milliliters wouldn't be enough and it would only last like 10 paintings or so because I use a lot of paint but this is actually going to last a lot of paintings because of how easy this paint is to spread and of how opaque it is. The only thing I don't like about this paint is the set that I bought it comes with very dark colors and I would really like it if they added some lighter shades and stuff and these these paints I I've been working on my palette here, and on my palette, if you see this blue, I didn't intend to squirt up that much blue. It just kind of came out by itself, so it it's really easy to squirt with this, which can get a little annoying because you can end up wasting a lot of paint because of that. But other than those two cons, this paint is really awesome and I would prefer it. Again, if you can't afford these and you're a beginner, I do recommend Apple Barrel, but uh, if you're looking for a bit more advanced paint, then this is probably good. So now I'm just going to let this dry. Okay, so our blending is done drying and I even made a sketch. So what I'm going to be, I have my little cake with a happy birthday and the two candles. This I have sketched, you can sketch yours out if you want. Or So here we are and now you might want to take a ruler and we're going to trace down everything with a pencil so that the sketch kind of transfers on the canvas. I transferred it on here and I traced it. I would recommend using transfer paper, honestly, and I would recommend using chalk, but I didn't have those. I have sidewalk chalk, which is not ideal, so I didn't have chalk or transfer paper, so I just did it by myself. So now we're going to make the base of this layer. So for the base of this layer, I'm going to do this blue mix with white to make it really 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 light. I'm gonna do that. 
So I added white to my blue and I know that's a lot, but trust me, this blue is very bright and dark and I'm trying to mute it down a lot. And I think I might even need more white because this is so bright and I want like a baby blue. See, that's the type of color that I'm going for. I'm going for this really cute baby blue color. And baby pink and baby blue are both extremely light. There. So I'm going to paint this one. So, you want to make sure that your bottom layer is also very dry for this part. You can improvise and make your own colors too. You can do whatever colors you want. I'll just recommend doing something a little light for the base because the drips should be dark so that the drips stand out from the base color. Now I've got my masking tape and I'm going to actually paint it this way because I realize it will be easier. So I'm just going to go over and I'm going in with a bit darker because it was really light against the background and it almost looked like a dirty white. For the top, I'm going to go ahead with the same exact color, except I'm going to add in just a little purple. And make this super cool, like purpley blue shade. And I'm just going to paint that. Okay, so now I have painted these and my colors have dried. And now I will paint my drips. I've sketched my drips. And now let's paint. For the drips, you can do any color you want, I think. I'm gonna do, I wanna do a chocolate drip, so I'm gonna go with a dark brown. So, just. Okay, so I'm done painting the drips, and obviously they're not perfect, and I'm aware of that, but they're drips, and drips can be random. They can be super duper messy like these, or they can be absolutely perfect, which actually never happens. So, yeah, um, when this dries, we will add the highlights with the white, and when this dries, we will go back and fix all of this with the outline. But for now, we will make a little polka dots here. So for the polka dots, you really just need a variety of colors and the end of a brush. So for my colors, I think this is a great way to actually use up wasted colors if you have any like leftover, if you don't want to throw away. And just grab a variety of colors that you would like. So I have my four colors here, and I'm going to take the end of a new brush. I'm just going to start making random little dots. You want to make it so that the bottom has the most dots. You can even get different ends of the paintbrushes, and if you have a dotting tool, you can also use that. I don't have a dotting tool, so I'm just using the end of my paintbrush. A dotting tool would be better, but if you don't have it, you can always improvise. You want to make it so that the bottom has the most, and the top has way less. Now I'm just going in with some white, and the white is probably the best one because it just gives like a little pop. I'm going to add some more color, I think I'm going to add a dark blue. These are just like little sprinkles, some baker's foot on cake. It's not very common to have a drip cake, but I personally like the drip design inspired by Mariah Elizabeth. And now this is drying, I'm just gonna turn this over 
I'm going to make the candles upside down. Yeah. Because that way, when it all dries, we can just make the little borders and make my happy birthday. And then, voila, we'll be that one. So, I'm just going to make my little candles. And I know the little stick that you make is normally black, but I don't like black, so I try to avoid black. So for the last one, I'm not really sure what color I should do, so I'm just gonna go with the good old trustworthy red. I'm gonna treat my little stick. There. And I'm gonna let that dry, then I'll do the little. So here I've written happy birthday and I'm going to decorate that area with some fireworks so using some blue or really any color you want. You can just go and make some fireworks. So who doesn't like fireworks? Unless of course it scares your friend then don't. Okay, so now I will just fix up these edges by outlining a bit here and just probably making some polka dots there. Easy. I think I'm going to be very ready to some black. I'm feeling a little okay. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go with gold. When you paint this painting, you want to go from top to bottom because I went from like all over the place and I just made life harder for me and I don't want you guys to struggle so I recommend you guys to go from uh top to bottom I'm just gonna make some little lines here and there and just a fun way to add something to your painting Oh, it's so crazy. Okay, and now we're just gonna add highlights to the um, chocolate and then I'm gonna sign it and we'll be done. So I'm gonna take some white. some white on the end of my brush and I saw somebody on TV do this so I'm gonna do this too. Just gonna make some highlights. Make it look you know, glossy. Like real chocolate, I'm only putting this in some parts because when a real chocolate flows, you only see um, light for reflections in some part and I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong, but I saw somebody do it and I think it was Mariah Elizabeth, I watch her a lot and I thought why not I do it too, so here is me doing that. <laughs> now I'm just going to sign the bottom my dirty paintbrush. I'm just gonna wipe my dirty paintbrush. I'm gonna take gold and be fancy and I'm just gonna sign. And there you have it. Here's your simple, simple happy birthday painting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. And turn on that notification bell so that you get notified every, every time we post a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye.